Welcome to the Alchemon Rising Arc. In this storyline, we will be teaming up with Sarah as we investigate the rogue Alchemon that have spread throughout the whole region. We'll also be showing off a handful of landmarks which you can discover throughout the country. So we'll be ignoring a lot of the main cities and towns, the gym leaders, and most of the main road. So make sure to check out another arc in order to learn about that stuff. In the meantime, since we're investigating him, I might as well talk a bit about Nicholas's contest. It revolves around this, a trainer rank. This is a returning feature from Pokemon Science and Magic. The rank determines the scaling of trainers and Pokemon which you will encounter. The higher the rank, the stronger the trainer slash Pokemon, and gym leader too. It also gives you some additional perks depending on how high your rank is. In order to improve it, you have to continue battling other trainers. Though, beating the gym leaders is a solid way of accelerating your rank's growth. You'll start off as an E, with the highest possible rank you can get being the S rank. With the first trainer who's participating in the contest to get the S rank being the winner. But, of course to recap, the contest is only really a cover-up for you. Your real mission as an undercover agent for iPad is to figure out what the heck Nicholas is doing. But, in order to help you do that, you might want to catch some new Pokémon along the way. Here are all the newbies you can find around these parts, and here are all the oldies. I'd recommend trying to snag a few of the oldies as well if I were you, because you never know what they might evolve into. You also may never know what kind of other new Pokémon you'll be able to discover on these routes. I can't show off too many newbies, but here's one of them. This is Amberst. The Landmine Pokémon. It's a small package, but with a lot of punch. They're often seen living in large colonies, and when an intruder comes around, they will attack without mercy. But that doesn't usually happen, since the Outer Amberst are more than enough to take care of them with their special weapon. Their abdomen is made out of a special substance. These Pokémon will often bury themselves into the ground with only the end sticking out. If something treads on it, then it will detonate like a zit, trapping the victims in a sticky, amber-like substance that is inescapable. These Pokémon learn a handful of explosion moves, including a new signature ability called Last Standing, which lets them survive on 1 HP after using Self-Destruct or Explosion, though of course it only works once per battle. There are tons of other new Pokémon that we'll be able to reveal during this arc, but we'll get to those when we get to them. In the meantime, let's see if we can find one of these Alchemon, shall we? What you're looking at right now are all six locations of the rogue Alchemon we'll be encountering throughout this series. The closest one appears to be where we are, so let's check out this abandoned power plant, which appears to be referred to by the locals as the Empty Funnel. <laughs> this is what you are right now, as you run on those toxic fumes that are power plant energy. Well, switch over to light bulb today. Not only is our energy cleaner, safer for the planet, but it's also cheaper. One third of the region has already switched over to pure energy. So, don't be digging with the dinosaurs. Be a light bulb. First day customers get two months off, half price. Light bulb. Ugh, bloody advertisements. But yeah, that's pretty much the backstory of this place. It did used to be a booming business, but due to the switch of power from power plants to, well, much cleaner energy sources, it's pretty much a dump now. But a fine place for some rogue Alchemon to hide. Now... I wonder if Sarah's going to show up here. Oh, there she is. Oh, player. You actually decided to show up. Oh, what a hindrance. Look, I don't entirely doubt your abilities. Like I said earlier, I'll believe it when I see it. 
but it's going to take a more than a good word from Luca to convince me that you're the right trainer for the job. So before we go any further, I'd like to see just how capable you are myself. Trainer, I challenge you to a quick Pokemon battle. Afterwards, I'll determine if you're really capable of assisting me or not. What do you think? Hm. I'm glad you said that. Let's dance. Alon Z! Alright, I'll start off light for you, shall I? Let's go, Tarantula! Hmm, impressive. But I'm just getting warmed up. Let's go, Rin Rin! Oh, looks like Sarah's using a new Pokemon which we haven't heard of before. Unfortunately, we will not be seeing it in this arc. The Pokemon Rin Rin is a mon that is revealed in another arc, so you're gonna have to watch that one, whichever it may be, in order to figure out who this guy is. Hmm, alright, very impressive. Still have one more hurdle for you though. Let's go, Covent! Not bad. Hmm, yes, very good. You still have a lot to learn, but you have plenty of potential. And you're an expert when it comes to Pokemon battling. That's a bonus. Very well, player. I'll allow you to assist me. However, I'm in charge. You have to do exactly what I say. Understood? Excellent. Now, enough wasting time. Let's get down to business. Over the past few weeks, there have been countless Alchemon sightings throughout the whole region. As I've said earlier, iPad is keeping them under surveillance. Hush hush, you know how it is. However, the most prominent are the six Alchemon which I've managed to locate. They're the ones iPad are having the most trouble with keeping under the radar. Our job is to capacitate them. All the while figuring out how they got released into the wild in the first place. From what I've gathered, this Alchemon in particular is a master of metal. It absorbs metal to make itself stronger, and there's an all-you-can-eat buffet in an abandoned power plant like this. So be careful, player. Make sure you're prepared for anything, because there's no telling what these Alchemon can do. That is all. <laughs> Man, no wonder they call this place the Empty Funnel. It's been completely cleared out. So, places like this where you can find these rogue Alchemon are basically dungeons, more or less. They have small little gimmicks and maze features which you'll have to navigate in order to get to the Alchemon. And if you come back here later, you can find some new Pokemon. So if you decide to do that, then you can find mostly bug, poison, and steel-type Pokemon hiding amongst the wreckage, including Melton, who's a very rare find in the wild. There are some new steel and poison type Pokemon you can find around here too, but I can't reveal them at this point. Except for one. And that being this guy, Revolution Coughing, the clear gas Pokemon. Due to the lack of fossil fuels to feast on, Coughing in this region have been starved to extinction, resulting in this ghost type form that consumes less poisonous gas in order to survive. But sadly, the power of adaptation doesn't appear to be doing them any good. Pollution-loving Pokémon have existed in this world for a long time, but unfortunately, that may not stand the test of it, so long as things keep going the way they are. Cleaner energy sources may be necessary to help our planet, but it doesn't remove necessary sacrifices. Still, these guys will be around once you've managed to deal with the Alchemon of this place. Speaking of which, you're going to have to investigate all of these guttered rooms in order to find enough Melten to eat a giant metal door that's blocking your way. Once you do that, the Alchemon should surely be inside. Hmm, seems pretty quiet. Be on your guard, player. There's no telling where that Alchemon will be. Also, keep an eye out for clues. We still need to find out who dumped this Alchemon here in the first place. <sighs> Honestly, these kind of trainers make me sick. 
No matter what size or shape the Pokémon is, they'll always find a way to underestimate it and throw it into the wild without thinking of the consequences. <sighs> Almost everyone in this world just thinks they can get away with something. They think they can just master Pokémon because they have ambitions. Well, one day people are gonna have to wake up and realize- <laughs> Shh, I think I heard something. Must be here. Oh. Player, brace yourself! <laughs> this is your first boss Alchemon. Meet Project Corrosion, Melmuck. A fusion of Melmetal and Muck, obviously. The attempt was to try and make a Pokémon that not only wouldn't eat metal, but also purify it from rust. Instead, the Pokémon is just as hungry as Melmetal, further enforced by the muck part of its DNA. It's nowhere near as strong as Melmetal, but it can absorb pretty much any metal it comes into contact with, though not always intentionally. If that wasn't bad enough, muck's DNA has made it mercury, so it's poisonous metal. And you have to fight this thing, so be careful. As for how these battles would go, they're basically a combination of the Titan battles from Scarlet and Violet, and the Noble battles from Pokémon Legends Arceus. In order to start damaging these bosses, you're going to have to dodge all of their attacks and wait for an opening to throw in your own Pokémon and deal some damage. Drop its health bar to zero a couple times, and you've won. Since this is your first Alchemon, you'll only have to do this two times for this first battle, but don't think it's going to be easy. This Pokémon can attack you from afar using its stretchy limbs, and summon metal spikes from the ground to try and trip you up. Take too much damage, and you'll have to do the whole thing all over again. If that wasn't bad enough, these guys can summon these little fellas to try and grab you and slow you down. This is their pre-evolution, Melgrimer. If you get one yourself, you can evolve it into Melmuck at level 40. So, make sure to try and find the necessary ingredients and an alchemist stone in order to get one of these yourself. Assuming you'll be able to survive this match. <laughs> Doesn't seem very strong. Well done, player. Wait, what are you doing? Stay back, that thing can still be dangerous. Huh. Or not. Looks like it's calmed down. How did they know that it would be safe? <laughs> wow. You... <laughs> You're very good with Pokémon, aren't you? Well done, player. I can see now why they sent you here. You are really brave. It would be an honor to work alongside- Wait. Hide, someone's coming. Melmuck. Here, Melly Melly Melly. Hmm. Must have died off. Ah oh well, can always make another one. Hmm, who was that? Professor Nicholas? Hmm, and she was speaking to that Melmuck as if it was her own. Was she the one who dumped it here? But why would she... and... Hmm... There appears to be more to this than meets the eye. At first, I thought most of these Alchemon cases were foolish trainers releasing them into the wild, but... Now, it appears to be something much bigger. Player, you did a good job today. Let us continue with our investigations elsewhere. I have a bad feeling this scenario is only going to get worse before it gets better. Hmm, 
and I'm sorry to say I have to agree with Sarah. Why was Clover here? And what exactly is she and Nicholas planning with these alchemist Pokémon? Are they behind this? Well, you'll have to find out next time, as our journey through Revolu continues.